Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has given an interview to the Israeli TV channel 14 and, and he's really given some more clarity on the war in Gaza and his plans for its future. Now he said within this interview that the intense phase of the war uh, is about to end, also saying that uh, he's vowing to shift the power to the north, meaning uh, northern Israel on the border with Lebanon. There have been increasing cross-border uh, attacks with Hezbollah over recent weeks. Now, he also pointed out that this doesn't mean that the war will come to an end. He is saying that the current phase of fighting uh, in Rafah uh, will come to an end. Um, he also said that he was ready for a partial deal with Hamas. This is about the, the ceasefire hostage deal, uh, which is on the table at the moment, but has really been in limbo uh, in, uh, in recent days. He says, though, uh, that he is willing to agree to a partial deal. He wants to get some of the hostages back. Uh, but he also said that he uh, will continue after the ceasefire to try and achieve his goal of eliminating Hamas. Now, of course, this may well be problematic for Hamas. We have heard consistently uh, from uh, Hamas officials that they want a specific timeline for a permanent ceasefire uh, for this war. So it may even make it uh, more difficult uh, for the two sides to come to any kind of agreement now on this ceasefire hostage deal, which uh, I must uh, add has been uh, stalled somewhat over recent days. He also pointed out he wants to bring people back to the north, meaning tens of thousands of residents who have been evacuated due to the tension uh, up north. And he said that he would like uh, a political agreement. That would be great. But if it's not possible, we will do it another way. Now, of course, on the Lebanese side as well, there are also tens of thousands of residents that have had to be evacuated. So this interview really giving a little more clarity on where the Israeli prime minister is and what he plans uh, for the, the coming potential days, weeks. There is no timeline uh, when it comes to these, uh, these clarifications. Paula Hancock's CNN, Jerusalem.